You have probably been told that you should balance on your outside ski. And that's for a good reason. Still, I see many people who are not balancing enough on their outside ski and they're missing out on all the benefits that comes with it. In this video, I'll give you two reasons why you should balance on your outside ski. First, you of course need to know what the outside ski is. So let's have a look at this illustration. Here you can see that the outside ski is simply the ski farthest from the center of the turn. But why is it so important to balance on your outside ski? The first reason is actually more of a test that will show us whether the outside foot or the inside foot works as a better option when we have to redirect our body uh, from side to side, just like in a ski turn. You can actually do this test almost anywhere. So I encourage you to try it out for yourself together with me and experience for yourself which option works the best. Okay, so imagine where I'm standing right now is the center of the turn. And now I'll jump from outside foot to outside foot. Just like this. Works pretty well. I catch myself, the outside foot, redirect my body in the opposite direction. Hey, that works pretty well. Okay, so let's uh, try the other foot, the inside foot to inside foot. I should warn you though, though that if you don't have very strong knees, uh, you shouldn't do this exercise. It can be pretty rough on the knees. Okay, so this is the center of the turn and this will be my inside leg and I have to move from inside leg to inside leg. So it would look like this. <laughs> Not ideal. <laughs> so now we have established that catching yourself on the outside foot when you have to redirect your body from going in one direction to the other uh, is a better option. So how much should you balance on the outside ski to turn effectively? Well, think about this. Right now I'm doing a left turn, so my right leg is my outside leg. If I balance 0% on my outside leg, all the turning movements that I do uh, will have absolutely no effect. If I do the opposite and I balance 100% on my outside ski, on the outside leg here, uh, everything I do with it will have an effect uh, for my turning. Okay, so now you know why it's so important to balance on your outside ski. But that doesn't mean that you should only balance on that though. Balancing 100% on your outside ski is a really good exercise for gaining confidence. But balancing on both your skis will give you the best balance foundation. Just remember, when your outside ski is the boss, you become the boss of your skiing. Once you understand why you should balance on the outside ski and how you can practice it, the next step could be to work on your transition. There are so many inspiring ways that you can go from one outside ski to the other outside ski. But that will be a theme for another video. Also make sure you like and subscribe to this video if you haven't done already. And have a nice day and see you on the slopes.